She got that too. An unindicted serial liar and fraud. That's what she is. And James Comey is a disgrace. What a choke artist. What an absolute fraud. I can tell you as a former chief of staff to an attorney general, this case is overwhelming. It's not even a close call. And there he is, up there behind a microphone, changing the very, the very wording of the statute. Intent. Intent for what? It's gross negligence. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me put it this way. You're driving a car, and you intentionally drive it into another car. Or you're driving a car, and you, you hit another car, but it's gross negligence. Is there a distinction between the two? Yeah, I'd say there is. So when Congress wrote this statute, they had a lower bar, gross negligence. Why? Because they didn't want top secret and other classified information being used in the way that Hillary Clinton used them. And it was by no accident the intent standard, even if it was the intent standard, she could have been indicted on multiple counts. She intended to have, by the way, more than one personal service. She had four. Obviously, she intended to do what she did. And there was the destruction of emails, even though Comey says, well, you know, nobody seemed to intentionally do it. Oh, really? Incredible. And by the way, I don't blame the, the hardworking men and women of the FBI. I blame the political hacks. I blame them. Top secret information, classified information, unprotected communications. And uncontacted communications while she's in hostile countries. Deleted emails. This woman is a fraud. She barely escaped indictment today. Charges being brought against her, or recommended charges, because of an FBI director who should resign. Because he's not up to the job. I don't give a damn if he was an assistant U.S. attorney or not. Trust me, if her name were Sally Franks or Ernie Smith, she'd be indicted. And she would have been indicted a long time ago. And she wouldn't have had a pro forma interview for three and a half hours on the Saturday before the Tuesday when the FBI director announces it all as well. She would have been dragged in front of a federal grand jury and every one of her hatchet women would have been too. And all these public statements she made, and all the statements made by other people, she'd be required to respond to. And the people out there cheering this is some great, on our side, is some great political, forget about politics. This woman is not qualified to be president of the United States. She's not qualified to get any kind of security clearance ever again. Ever again. Comey, today, cut six, go. From the group of 30,000 emails returned to the State Department in 2014, 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. Eight of those chains contained information that was top secret at the time they were sent. All right, that's enough. Now... Hillary Clinton said she never sent any classified material. Remember that? Hat tip America rising, cut five. Go. I did not email any um, classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified materials. First, let me say that I am confident. Now, first, let me say and interrupt briefly. If this had been done in front of a grand jury... And the evidence, as it's clear, has turned out otherwise. I bet they would have voted. Voted to charge. Go ahead. Nor received any information that was classified at the time it was sent and received. I tell them, number one, that um, there was never anything sent nor received by me that was marked classified. And I had uh, not sent uh, classified material nor received anything uh, marked classified. There was nothing marked classified on my emails, either sent or received. Time, time, 
time again. March 10, 2015, July 26, 2015, July 31, 2015, August 18, 2015, October 22, 2015. There was nothing marked classified. I didn't send classified. She's a liar. A liar time and time again. And James Comey didn't even find a pattern here. And James Comey said, well, she didn't really intend to. Intend to what, Mr. FBI Director? And that's not even the standard, but let's pretend it is. She obviously intended to do everything she did. She went out of her way for private servers. Lied repeatedly about the nature of some of the information she received and sent. Repeatedly. She also lied about these, these devices, these, you know, these... These handheld devices, I think we call them cell phones. Oh, they're so complicated, I don't really know how to do it. You know, I had a private one and I had one for work. I didn't really know how they worked. She had more than one. She had more than two. She had a number of handheld devices. So she lied about that as well. In fact, it's difficult to find where she didn't lie. It's difficult to find where she did not lie. Now, lying in and of itself is bad enough. It's immoral. Lying to the American people violates a public trust or a, a public trust that you, you seek. But doing it in violation of a federal statute, ladies and gentlemen, this is maximum cover-up. The underlying crime and the cover-up. All of a sudden, thousands of emails are missing. Despicable. Her lawyers went through them. You know, they didn't actually read them. And yet, I have a piece here in Time magazine. A piece here from Time Magazine, FBI says Hillary claim on reading emails was false. The FBI investigation into Hillary Clinton's email uncovered evidence that her spokesman gave reports, reporters false information in 2015 about the process her lawyers used to sort personal emails prior to uh, deletion. Clinton Press Secretary Nick Merrill previously told Time her attorneys had individually read every email to determine if it was a government document or personal correspondence. Quote, every one of the more than 60,000 emails were read, period, Merrill wrote in one email to a Time reporter back in March. March 2015. The FBI concluded this was false. Comey said today the lawyers doing the sorting for Secretary Clinton in 2014 did not individually read the content of all her emails. Instead, they relied on header information and used search terms to try and find all work-related emails among the report, reportedly more than 60,000 total emails remaining on Secretary Clinton's personal system in 2014. Is, what, is this too complicated for people to, to even talk about today? This is the crime of the decade. This is the crime of the decade. They went after this governor, Bob McDonald, for nothing. The U.S. Attorney's Office, this Justice Department, had to be approved by the Public Integrity Section of the Criminal Division of the United States Department of Justice under Eric Holder. Eight to zero, the Supreme Court says BS. This, this case, ladies and gentlemen, any first-year prosecutor could have brought this case. I'm not done. I'll be right back.